I love Wikipedia. Before it, all we had were these encyclopedias. These were expensive and out of date as soon as we bought them. Wikipedia, on the other hand, begins with a very radical idea. Jimmy Wales came up with the idea for a web-based encyclopedia. He's a libertarian, and Wikipedia is a libertarian idea because it gets its facts through spontaneous order, like a school of fish, a flock of birds, ice skaters. There's no leader. All posts are crowdsourced, user-generated. All the editing is done by volunteers. People are always asking, well, who's in charge of, of this or who does that? And the answer is anybody who wants to pitch in. Lots of us were skeptical. The user who visits Wikipedia visits a public restroom, a Britannica editor sneered. But a few years later, when Wales came to New York to talk to us about Wikipedia, it was clear his idea had won. They no longer print encyclopedias. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's a bit sad in a way. Uh, you know, I, I love the old encyclopedias. I love Britannica. Um, but I love candles, too. But I sure wouldn't give up my electric light. Today, Wikipedia is the ninth most used website in the world. Millions rely on it. Great. But sadly, Wikipedia's other founder, Larry Sanger, now says, when it comes to today's political pages... That's not education. That's propaganda. Propaganda for the left-leaning establishment? That's upsetting. I donated to Wikipedia. Do leftists really now control the editing? It is all done by volunteers, obsessive people like John Weiss. He's called a top 100 Wikipedian because he's made hundreds of thousands of edits, mostly about sports and entertainment, subjects he just knows about. When did The Sopranos first come out? 1999. What year did Rocky come out? 1976. Without hesitation, how do you do that? <laughs> Wikipedia gives you a place to put it all together. But lately, he too noticed the bias. Wikipedia does a great job on things like science and sports and older history, but you really see a lot of political bias when you're talking about current events. This laptop uh, that intelligence mm -hmm. officials have warned is likely Russian disinformation. Just up until a few days ago, if you typed in Hunter Biden email controversy, it would redirect you to an article about the Biden-Ukraine conspiracy theory. Shortly before the last election, the New York Post reported that emails on Hunter Biden's laptop suggest corruption. But left-leaning media dismissed that as Russian disinformation. Most refuse to even investigate. Start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. But now, even left-leaning media vouch for the emails. A lot of what was on that laptop is true. It took the New York Times more than a year to say that, but it took Wikipedia even longer. Why so slow? There's a pretty strong left bias on Wikipedia. The people on the left far outweigh people in the center and in the right. And people on the left tend to get a lot more protection from administrators. The administrators are special editors who've been given the power to overrule other editors and make final decisions. You would hope that these people would be some of the most principled and partial people, but there's a lot of people who are pretty left, even openly socialist and Marxist. Some administrators proudly advertise that they're socialists, and they post pictures of Che and Lenin on their own profiles. And these are the people who decide which sources are acceptable on Wikipedia. And they're pretty restrictive on the right, much more lenient on the left. They sure are. Wikipedia's reliable sources page includes CNN and MSNBC. But political reporting by Fox is not called reliable. And neither is The Federalist, The Daily Caller, The Daily Wire, and The New York Post, which is probably why they got this story wrong. Maybe Wikipedia's editors just have unusually high standards. Only perfectly neutral outlets can be used. But no, not only do they call CNN and MSNBC reliable, Wikipedia also deems Fox, Slate, The Nation, Mother Jones, and Jacobin reliable. Jacobin describes itself as offering socialist perspectives. I mean, these are ultra-leftist sites. Yeah, so those things are totally acceptable, but things like Fox News and the New York Post basically can't be used. What's your political bias? I'm a centrist. I've never really strongly identified with either political party. Weiss is no conservative. In presidential races, he's voted for Gore, Nader, and Obama. Never for a Republican. 
but he still objects to Wikipedia's new bias. For example, on these socialism and communism pages, for years there was no mention of the millions killed by socialism and communism. None. And even now, Deep in the article, it's kind of treated as something of an arcane academic debate, but we're talking about mass murder. Wikipedia even added, we cannot ignore the lives saved by communist modernization. You'll get kind of rose-colored discussions about how uh, poverty improved under communism. Poverty was improved? Communism collapsed because of its poverty. Here's another bizarre example of bias. Under concentration and internment camps, Wikipedia includes migrants at the Mexico-U.S. border. Yeah, alongside other things, including the Holocaust. Why are border facilities on the same page as the Holocaust? It's very different to go out and round up millions of your own citizens to even commit mass murder against them. As opposed to policing a border and detaining people who've crossed that border illegally. How can you work for an organization that does this? So most of the stuff I work on, college sports in particular, isn't really affected by this stuff, but it can be pretty disheartening to see just a couple clicks away, you can get into content that's very manipulative and biased. Can we fix these errors? Wikipedia says anyone can edit. But is that true? <laughs> Weiss was bothered that Wikipedia's description of the Antifa movement minimizes its violence. It introduces it as just a left-wing movement, and I made an edit to suggest that it's really a far-left movement. Within three minutes, someone deleted the word far. In principle, anyone can edit, but you'll find your edits being reverted pretty quickly. Let me try one. On that concentration camp page, Wikipedia focuses only on Donald Trump. I'll add to that. President Barack Obama built these cages. There, that's fixed. But within a day, my edit was taken down. That's disturbing. Wikipedia founder Wales says, he's a fan of my videos. You and I are small L libertarians, he wrote me. And when I asked him about his co-founder's complaint that today only progressive sources are permitted, Wales said, this is just 100% false. And he gave us examples of left-wing propaganda that Wikipedia rejects. Good that it rejects that. But then I learned what I just showed you that Wikipedia labels many other dubious left-leaning sites reliable, but rejects conservative sites that are just as good or better. I asked Wales about it. That's when he stopped answering my emails. There's nothing anybody can really do about this. The balance could be shifted if we got more people in the center to come in and edit in a principled fashion. I hope Wikipedia someday returns to its original vision of a neutral encyclopedia edited by everyone. It's a bottom-up, user-based product, so it's really a function of all the people who come together. In the meantime, I've stopped donating, and I'll sure be skeptical about anything I read on Wikipedia about politics. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please, click that button. Help us make more.